Hey, it's Mr. Xyrus here with my first ever Let's Play that I'm going to do for a Total War series uh, game. Um, I'm going to be doing this for Napoleon Total War, just using uh, no mods, just the vanilla files. And I'm going to be playing as Prussia, um, not as France. A lot of my other campaigns I've done in the past I've done as France, and i decided to change things up a bit. I'm going to do a, Fran I'm going to do a Fr French Let's Play in the future when I get the Le Monte de l'Empire 4 mod. But since I'm trying to do some online battles for now, I'm just going to use vanilla files, and we're going to go ahead and use Prussia. Um, I'm going to enable drop in battles, campaign, and battle difficulty. Both are going to be on expert. And uh, basically, that's just how we'll start it off, and we're going to be in historical game mode. So just capturing the regions of baden wettenberg Bavaria, uh, Sicily, Frisia, Mecklenburg, Brandenburg, Bohemia, Hessen, Castle, Saxony, and Thurguria. Um, you have to, you have to forgive me if I mispronounce things, as I know I'm going to. But uh, I'll always make sure um, if there's ever, you know, obviously during turns, I'm just going to um, cut to the next turn. Um, and if there's any, obviously, if there's anything that happens during the turn, we'll just keep. Uh, I'll obviously either deal with it and keep that in the let's play, or um, brief you on it during the next um, turn and uh, battles. I will play any battles that I deem necessary to uh, um, um, to be important for the let's play. So other than that, let's start out. So I am playing as Prussia. The capital is Berlin. Um, obviously, the key general is. Uh, What's his name? Forget. Um, Gerard von Blücher. Um, we'll look at some of the objectives. The first objective objective is reformation of the army, building a drill school. So I have six thousand. So I've not really no other threats. So I'll go ahead and just build a drill school. Um, I believe that's what it's for. And um, right now we'll look at diplomatic relations. Really, I'm not at war with anyone, so I kind of start off in a nice little thing. Obviously, I'm going to be eventually. I'm going to be torn between um, siding with the French and his allies, Napoleon and his allied states, and then um, the English and Russia or his um, the coalition. So we'll just I'll see how things play out. I'm not necessarily going to do things how they historically happened or such. So I um, improved roads there. I improve the supply post for a uh, greater part of uh, Brandenburg. When I kind of kind of try to use Warsaw as my main um, place to defend off on my east, you know, from the Russians and such. Um, look at my armies now. Look at my balance sheet. I'm not expected to lose any money. Actually, so I want to I want to gain a little more money. So I'm going to cut down the armies a teeny bit. Where I do necessarily. Let's see. My largest army is in Berlin. With men, if there's any militia, I'll probably get rid of them. No. Oh. Um, I'll get some rid of some militia here. I'll just get rid of my whole army because there's no point just having an army of skirmishers. Let's see Warsaw. Keep them there. I'll give them a general in the future. I'm actually gonna bring this movie uh, army to Warsaw. In my nearest port. Go ahead and build a merchant ship. See, in my nearest college, I'll study national debt. And I think that might be all for this turn. So we will move on to tur turn to our late February, late January of 1805. And back here with turn two, uh, I got a trade agreement growing with uh, the Ottoman Empire. I actually got a new, mis new mission forging alliance with Russia. Um, I'll get plus 1,000, so probably do that alliance or declare between the Ottomans and Austria and I got a new agent here is he a spy or a gentleman he is a gentleman so I'll move him to my nearest college which is I don't know for sure that's my nearest college yep so I'll move my agent there my gentleman I will go ahead and move my other gentleman there all the way from Queensburg, East Prussia. So I guess my main, if I had a kind of an inner goal besides my main mission objectives, it's to capture some of these uh, Germanic states or the Confederation of the Rhine to kind of unify Germany, not um, hopefully avoiding any revolutions or anything, but uh, unifying Germany, Germany under the Prussian control. Um, so we'll see what we can do with Russia here. Run I'll probably get a here. I'll get a trade agreement going with France, but he did not want to. I'm going with Austria. 
he does. Let's see what we can do with Russia. And we have an alliance with Russia, so hopefully not too many wars. We'll, he'll my force my hand in against the fresh or other states. Just seeing if I can get any other alliances here. And I got some more trade agreements with Saxony. And um, I forgot the other nation. Um, so we'll just keep studying national debt. See if I can prove anything else. I'll go ahead and prove roads in Warsaw. See if I can build another merchant ship. Or at least build it for the future. I can. And I'll go ahead and upgrade the commercial port. And that's all I'm going to do for this turn. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn uh, to the next turn early. February 1805. And back to the next turn here. Um, the only thing that's happened since the last um, turn is a winter attrition I suffered. That army going from uh, um, Breslau to Warsaw, but they are now in Warsaw, so no more um, wep weather deprivation. Um, I was out my Russia tried to get me to join the war against the Swiss Confederation. But uh, historically, I've kind of known that obviously Switch is a neutral country, not as much as they were, or um, that wasn't as their biggest thing back then in you know the early 19th century. But uh, still, I just my army, you know, I'm, I'm in between France and Austria is in between um, Austria, in between the Swiss Confederations, and I don't have the biggest army, so I declined his um, request for me to join. So I didn't anger him too much. Um, go ahead and build one more trade ship. I like to go in threes. Still my supply post. Let's see if I can upgrade anything in Berlin. Not yet. Let's see all my other cities. Kingsburg I get. Let's see if I get a decent amount of uh, tax. I do, so I'll go ahead and update the magistrate there. I like to keep a thousand in my bank at least. So, um, see anything we can do in diplomatic relations. I'm going to really try to get an agreement with France because I don't want to piss them off too much. And I am um, not too happy, but I did get an agreement with Napoleon, so I'm trading with all the nations I really can. So uh, that's all we'll do for this early February turn. And we will fast forward, not fast forward, but uh, I'll go to the next turn in uh, late February 1805. Back to uh, late February 1805. Uh, I got a new agent over the uh, turn, a gentleman from East Prussia. So I'll go ahead and move him to the... Uh, Meldenburg, not Meldenburg, but the uh, college in Brandenburg. A new mission, um, research classical economics. I'll go ahead and do that when I can. New unit recruited that merchant ship I did a couple turns ago, and the supply post was built in Brandenburg. So we will go move that gentleman to uh, the college in Magdenburg, and that we'll go and move that new gentleman to there as well. So I get some professors there. Let's see, the technology they wanted me to research was classical economics, so I'll do that after I complete national debt get that little reward. Um, that's all. I'm not going to build any more merchant ships. Nothing really happened with any other nations in between turns. I have 3,000. So I should probably... I'll, here, I'll get another troop. Do I, have any, do I need any more artillery? I'll uh, draft one unit of uh, Hussars or Ulaz or whatever. So get some more cavalry going. See if I can. I'll go ahead and prove the court of justice, because obviously I want to get as much income I can from um, Berlin. But I will have to update the theater as well in the future turns. So um, I'll go ahead and start moving that uh, trade ship to the west to see if there's anything I can get over there. Hopefully I can get something in the Americas, and we will find out in the future turns. So we'll go ahead and fast forward to early March of 1805. Back at the turn here, um, I got a new auxiliary gained, uh, plus five chance of assassination to an exiled nobleman. And uh, the new roads in uh, Brandenburg near Berlin were constructed. So, um, And on that note, I'll keep in, uh, improving the roads in my other regions. The rooms in uh, Pomerania, roads in East Prussia, the roads near Danzig. And uh, that's all we'll do. And for now, we'll improve the ones in uh, Breslau in a little bit. And uh, there was no new missions at all. Continuing to move gentlemen to the respective colleges. Well, let's see how my relations are with Sweden. I do not know. Indifferent. Okay. He does have a small army here, right outside my coast. So, right outside my borders, I should say. 
Still, my main armies are in Berlin and Pomerania. No armies in Danzig, small army, and that's where Blonde Blucher is in Kong, uh, Kongs, Kongsberg, East Prussia, and that army in uh, Poland, which I really should get a general for. So we'll go ahead and buy a cheap general, Ludwig von Waldmorden Gimborn. So he will command uh, the army near um, the coast of Russia in Wars Warsaw. And so I don't want to have no really other money to spend, so we'll go ahead and fast forward to the next turn to um, late March 1805. Here in late March 1805, we find ourselves with no new missions. I did recruit that unit of Hussars in Berlin, and the uh, bar bar new barracks in Berlin is built as long as the basic roads in Poland. Go ahead and look at my balance sheet. I'm getting about 25 coin every turn, so still a decent amount. My ship that was moving to fine trade is still moving out here. Go ahead and keep moving. We won't be able to see for about let's see one, two, three, four more turns, three more turns. So we'll check on that later. Um, we got that general now in uh, Medenberg as well. So I believe I have two or three generals there. I should have three. Another general still on the way in Pomerania. And I have one more turn, I think, on the class or national debt, and then I'll research classical economics to get that one mission um, resolved. Let's see if I have enough money. I'll go ahead and get me cobble, cobbled roads in Russia. In, I'm sorry, um, Brandenburg near Berlin. Um, and basic roads in Breslau. I think that is it. Still nothing going on really in any other nations besides that war with the Austrian Ottoman Empire. Um, what was that now six turns going on? Not much is going on these past turns, but. The adventure will pick up, so we will go ahead and fast forward, um, move on to the uh, next turn in early April 1805. 1805. And find ourselves in early April 1805. I completed the education of intellectual advance for the national debt, and I will now research classical economics to f um, to uh, finish that mission objective. I recruited that other trade ship in my ports north of Berlin, so I'll move that out there as well. Continue moving that one out as well. Um, nothing really going on in the foreign relations besides uh, Spain, actually, is at war with Britain and captured the port of Gibraltar, so it'll be kind of inf interesting if the uh, United Kingdom lost control of the Gibraltar um, port or Gibraltar Strait. I want to see if one of my victory regions is Saxony. Uh, and it is Saxony. We'll see who the allies are of Saxony. That'd be kind of a nice region to gain control of and to build off of. Saxony he has allies are Austria and Hessen. I'm trying to find a nation that I need that the victory region. Hanover, I think, is Britain. Or is that France? No, it's still France. Oldenburg is not a victory region. Hessen Kessel, we'll see. His allies with Hessen Kessel. And the only allies are Saxony, so I could try to take Saxony and Hessen and them both in a kind of dual shock blow. The only person I'd be upsetting are the Austrians, but I could easily try to build up enough money to uh, um, pay them off to break an alliance or trade embargo or something like that. So I won't spend any money now really in this turn. But I am going to go ahead and move an army of. Uh, Von Blucher over near Dresden. I'm going to move that small army that I had in Pomerania to Kongsberg, so I'd rather attack with Blucher because I just feel more confidence with him. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do a dual assault, kind of, I guess, weird way to say, two wings of attack, uh, one against uh, the capital of Hassan in Kessel, and one, maybe I think Von Blucher will try to take Dresden. I'll try to build up an army in a little bit, so I'll go ahead and probably recruit a few units here. Let's see, Blue Shirt, I don't know if he needs any artillery. He has two units of artillery. I'll go ahead and build another unit of artillery. So six pounders. Does he have any cavalry? I'll go ahead and build, or recruit uh, some lancers. And I think that's all I'm going to do for spending this round, but I think I'm going to plan on the next couple rounds um, declaring war on Dresden, Saxony, and uh, Third, Thurgia? Thurgia? Sorry if I mispronounced that. And uh, Castle of Hessen. 
So, because uh, those are two victory regions, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna kind of get on the uh, um, advance here and try to build up some prestige and build my empire. So, I'll try to pay off Austria so they don't get too mad. And um, um, I think that's all that will happen in the next few turns. So, this is the last turn I'll do for episode one of the 1805 Let's Play uh, European campaign under for Prussia. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll have another Let's Play out in a day or two. And uh, other than that, this is Mr. XIrish. Um, remember to comment and subscribe for future gameplays and newscasts. And remember to uh, comment if you think there's anything I should do or change with my uh, Let's Plays, as this is my first one. So, thanks for watching.